So the orifice tube on this 1988 Econoline E150, I'll show you where it is. It's not here in, this is where you would have the accumulator connected to these two hoses. That's not where it is. It's actually gonna be over here where we have this going into the vehicle. So if you see what looks like an AC line going into the vehicle which connects to the evaporator, that's where it is. So this one has this little piece here, which is supposed to, supposedly you press it against here, allows you to disconnect it. Doesn't really work very well. It's kind of old, surprising that it's actually still there. But um, we use a special tool instead. So we use a one of these tools here. This is an AC fuel line disconnect tool set, tool set here. If you find the right one. And whenever you find it, like say this was still connected, which it's not, we'll clip it on and then you're gonna push it forward. It's going to push forward um, some springs and you'll be able to disconnect. So over here, I'm gonna put it in here, push it forward, and with one hand you hold it here, and the other hand you'll be able to disconnect here. So that thing just went flying. I had to use this tool to disconnect the line here. And so I disconnect this. Inside here, and you can see a little a red tab there, barely. Okay, we're here at Harbor Freight and we need like super thin pliers. Uh, there's a couple of examples here. These ones definitely look like possibilities, but these ones look pretty good too. I'm gonna go with these, these are straight 12 inch locking clamps. So I got this 12 inch locking clamp from Harbor Freight. So it's real thin because this is kind of deep in there. So let's see if we can get it. And it was tough to get out. It was kind of stuck in there. I actually sprayed, I just sprayed some WD-40 in there and grab it and then actually clamp it to really grip down on it. So I had it in here and uh, is grabbing onto it like this with this with these it was pretty deep in there and then then I just clamp down on it like this lock that into place like that and then I just kind of used it both to pull but not like as hard as I could and yank it just just very firmly and just kind of tried to twist it and twist it and then I could finally just popped out. Here it is. There's the old one. Put a little bit of pag on there. A little pag oil here on the O-rings. This way, the red side faces out. This is where I grabbed it originally. So here in the upper left, this is where we got it out of. Let's see, just put it back in. The seats in there. You can kind of feel it lock in place. And this is where it was attached with this. Um, can replace some of these things but the last step of course is to reconnect this line i'm gonna be honest like it was not easy it actually took me a couple days of struggles to actually get it to lock back in place so i'm just letting you know i had to kind of slam it in there and feel that lock you have to hear the click and verify that it is locked in place that these ac lines you can't just pull them out by hand because if you could pull them out by hand the pressure of the refrigerant is going to cause them to break open and you don't want that when you're fully charged so uh, refrigerant will go out all over the place so anyway uh, it i did eventually get it to lock in but it was very very difficult these lines are just a total pain in the ass but i hope that you have more success with them and they'll click in nice and easy for you and release nice and easy for you 
did not for me. And if you want to hear the entire story of this AC repair, which I had so many issues, click on the link that you see on the screen right now. Have a great day, and we'll talk to you in the next one.